Um, my name is Collins Musumba. And my name is Shifra Musumba. Karibu ni seme Musumba. Unaharibu aje jina na jina ni jina ya kifalme. Shifra Musumba. Yeah, and we have been married for five years. We are high school lover buds. We met in high school. Uh, he's Kenyan, I'm Ugandan. So he had come to Uganda for studies um, from high school, that is from one up to from six. So we met in the school. Uh, we were friends first for, because he joined then 2009. And we were friends until. Matangaza sana miaka sawa. Matangaza. Our G, our G from one ni ni how ni how old? Yeah, but we we were friends for all that time until 2014. The year of the Lord. <laughs> 2014, 2013. Yes. When, 2013. When the Lord um, um, showed to who? His light on you. <laughs> <laughs> All this while, he he used to tell me he loves me, and I thought it was brotherly love, and yeah. So I brother zoned him for some time. In your time, Lukona Jona superstar, by the way. <laughs> she will, you know, our to know, this person is out of my league because we can a number of the people who are, you know, Wonga. on the line. Now, would you pay me on a kidogo? If I measure myself, I find myself wanting. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not true. I think on the other hand, I also thought that you had a crowd of ladies around you. Uh. Because you had, yes, you had ladies around you. He uh. was a favorite. He used to be called Obama in school. So you can imagine Obama in, in school. Hmm. Hmm? He, he had the English of Obama. He used to be the Obama of the school. Um, for me, this is my, this was my first girlfriend, um, but for her, she had had uh, an experience with life. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, that's, that's where we, we met. We were in, in the same school, same class, same stream. Yeah. I made the first move, and let me tell you, that was a step of faith. If you've ever heard of not a journey of faith. That was it. Um, Babe, are you sure you're the one who made the first step? Yes, I did. What do you mean? Oh, na kumbuka niyan. Me, I remember us going on a trip, mm -hmm. and you calling me to sit with you in mm -hmm. a school bus. Mm -hmm. No, it was not the school bus, but it was the university bus that had come to pick us. Mm -hmm. And um, you called me to sit with you, and I came and sat with you. And during this journey, you slept on my laps. So mm -hmm. in this process, I'm thinking, okay, this feels different. But uh, he has not said anything yet. I have feelings for him. Slowly. You had feelings? Yes. Slowly um, from... We are on, we are on <laughs> national slowly, television. Slowly from, from, <clears throat> from the way you had been talking to me and telling me, oh, I love you, I love you. Somehow there was that trigger that, so, that so was I, I, created. I had expressed myself. Yes, you had. Yeah. But you had expressed yourself in a way that it was just casually. Like you didn't sit me down and tell me I'd want to be your boyfriend or I would want us to be in a relationship. Please, parents, tell your daughters to stop watching Telemundo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this was my innocent way that you know yeah I love so you. from my memory you are I, the one I made the first move after that trip is when things began to unfold because after the trip um he asked me on a paper we used to you, we used to go for evening preps and he asked me on a paper a piece of paper i still have it up to date and he told me who am i to you before he said that <laughs> he actually had said, there is an important question I want to ask you. I'm like, go ahead. And then he's like, guys, this, what was, is your this, best this was many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what is your best subject? I'm like, okay. You know the way somebody prepares your mind and you're like, aha, this is the time he's going to ask 
something serious. And then he asks you, what's your best subject? So I'm like, okay, let me just answer it innocently. And I go agriculture, and I think I said math. Eh? No, I didn't, I, I didn't love math. Could have been agriculture and something. Mm. And then he's like, I'm like, but are you really sure that is what you wanted to ask? And he laughs. And then he goes like, okay, um, who am I to you? But you know... He... And I'm thinking at this moment, you first wait. I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> at this moment, what is he driving at? Because from yesterday, from the day previous, we had come from the trip. He had been sleeping on my laps. I all felt like he was going to say something that time. He has not said it. And then when we come, I'm like, okay, this is a gone deal. These were things I was making up in my mind. And then he's asking me, who am I to you? Now it was putting me in a position where I didn't want to be the one to say, I love you first, or I feel, I feel something for you because I had been there and I had been rejected and misused for the same thing. So I didn't want to be in the same position. And this is where he has put me. So I told him, you're more than a brother. Nilitupa <laughs> brozo. No, you are more <laughs> than a brother. <clears throat> okay, you know, it's good to put things into perspective. <laughs> Remember, this is my first girl to approach. All men who are watching, I think, approaching a lady is one of the hardest things because of the fear of rejection. And... We have been friends, very close friends. I literally know everyone who was trying to date you, including those who are buying me mandazis to get close Mind to you. Mind you, he used to he used to actually be a go in between. So how would you tell? How would you take this person seriously when they are always telling you I love you, and then they bring you a you know this? No, that this one, that was that was way this later. One saying, what? This one is saying this <laughs> and this. <laughs> yeah. So, in the best way I knew how then. I expressed myself because I realized, hey, in a catch in Mekwani Kitafuta, it's just it's just close by. She must be the one. I mean, everything packaged very well. So yeah, I expressed myself to her. But it seems uh, in in that question. It it no, not in the question. When I used to tell you I love you, it was it was very genuine. <laughs> but now because this was not working, so I was thinking now. In relationships, there are, there are stages you could be just, just an acquaintance, a friend, a, a therapist, or if you are lucky, maybe now you are a boyfriend. So, I want to be a therapist. Yeah. Well, after that, um, I think I remember going, because it was close to end, end of prep time, like end of, of, of night prep time. So I went to bed and on, on, when I went to bed, I told God, I just want to get out of this place of confusion because I, I wanted, at that point I had reached a point where I just wanted a person to date, not just for fun, but a person that I project to have, you know, marriage and a future with. Of course, some of you would say, oh, that is too early, but that is where I had reached in, in, in my mind. I had been dated by very many other guys who promised to, you know, get married to me. And then at the end of the day, you realize this one just wants to use you and take advantage of you and you end up things. So by the time he found me, I had been from a very bad relationship and I had ended things in that relationship. So I had told myself, if it's not career, I'm not get, getting, you know, I'm not getting in this love thing. I was tired. See yourself. So now. when he comes, <coughs> when he comes that night, I went, I told God, God, I just want to get out of this position. And I prayed to God. I remember telling God, if I meet him in class tomorrow and he is concentrating on his books, I wanted a sign that he'll be concentrating on his books very early in the morning. And he's the first person I meet. I'll know that he's the one. And I will just go ahead and become vulnerable and tell him, you know what? It's fine. We can we can kick off. I went to class. I think I woke up the very I was the very first girl to get out of the dormitory at around 3:30 a.m. I went to class. 
I didn't find him. It was raining. I was kind of disappointed because I, I knew I had made a prayer and I, I had promised, you know, to keep mm. my side of the promise. And then I said, let me just go to the dining hall and check whether he's there. And, and I found him seated in the cold. He didn't even have a sweater. He was reading. Serious. Reading. <laughs> 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 character development. Mimi ni bro. Yaani, mimi nimekuwa nikikula tu ma stress hapo. Mimi ni therapist wako. So <clears throat> I decided I think I, I'm not this relationship things. I'm not cut for this thing. Let me just concentrate on your book. Studies, maybe mimi nafaa kuwa mtumishi wa Bwana. So nisema I'm going to read these books like never before. Mm. I, and mind you, me I'm not one of those bookworms, yeah. But I'd say now I'm going to focus. Oh I'm going goodness. to become successful that this girl will regret one day. Kini mungu ni nani? Kumbe hiyo ndo mambo yaliyokuwa yameomba. The prayer was asking for and when I saw him there, I was very very overjoyed and I I reached out to him and told him he didn't want to see me. Like from from the question he was already disappointed so he didn't want to see me and I think you wanted to walk away. Yeah, because umeshani kata tena unakuja ku rabbit on me. You can't have me, you know. <laughs> so I go there and, and 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 before he stands up I tell him there's something I want to tell you. And I told him I love you. Okay, I think for me what stood out was that he was understanding. Uh of all the friends I had, he was understanding, he was not judgmental and he he knew me inside out and didn't have any judgment on who I was. Of course he knew my weaknesses since we were friends, so we used to share and I feel like he made me feel safe. I used to feel safe around him. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that really attracted me to him. You know, we we had been very good friends, close friends for some time. And um you know with close friends you become vulnerable in terms of what is disturbing you um the challenges you have in life and what not and at no particular point did i ever feel like i'm doubting or i have doubt in this friendship i would feel like this is a safe space i have um and i also knew myself considering the school we were in where we had children of who is who uh <laughs> and for me i'm the only one who knows my surname <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i felt i found somebody who genuinely uh, appreciates me for me even at that friendship level so honesty was one and two she was even at that time a very principled um, young lady yeah so those two stood out for me you rembo tulikuja kuona baadaye sababu ni yeah but those yeah. two if you are mimi ningeulizwa um two years before we started dating ah uh, ningekata kuna kuna there is no way ah kuna no yeah <laughs> it's around that time when you know it seems everyone is loved but you. <laughs> you, you, you know? there's a the, the social pressure of everybody has a girlfriend everybody has a boyfriend. Wacha kuweka maneno kwa mdomo yangu usiweke mdomo maneno kwa mdomo changu. So it's it's around that time you you just feel you need to have a person you should connect with. Um, even at that young level of course that's when the feelings ni kama zinawaka moto blood is boiling <laughs> yeah so for me yes i was looking. i was looking and gladly uh, quite a number uh, rejected as you hear she was my first yeah <laughs> uh, i think for me it was a point of the last try to love yeah uh, i actually had told myself no i'm not going to do love anymore so so are you looking um i was being looked for uh -huh. Nilikwambia ukweli ni kama mimba. Uweze ficha.
um, A level form, form five. five. Mm-hmm. And that was almost at the end of form five. Mm-hmm. Um, and let me tell you, I think those were my best moments in school. Yani, unasikia tu raha. Yani, you know, me, I never loved school. But from form five, mm-hmm. I was always looking forward oh, to going to, to school. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's where my happiness lies. Uh. Um, we we both had um, quite some passion in music, so mm. we were in the school choir, where she was our leader, and he was our pianist. Um, oh. Yeah, so we really enjoyed um, you know spending time together, considering that we had same interest at that particular point. To me, anza kude TV, nando yoshule naisha TV, you know. Um, and for me, that was that was troubling because uh, see, I, I was very worried that once we depart from each other, um, or at least being in the same environment, uh, this relationship would be left to fate. Because for me, I I I really wanted to to be with you, mm. but now I was worried. Oh, now you know maybe the parents decide and end up finding a university in Egypt. Or I don't know where. Um, <laughs> and, and for me, my mother says, the university oh. of Nairobi. Yeah. What, what, what will happen? And you know, you are at a space, you feel you have found the prize. Mm? And it seems it's just about to sleep away. sleep away from you. So those few weeks before we finished school uh, were my hardest, I think. I think me it was more of the fun that I had never had. Uh, uh, maybe partially because the, the people that dated me were always above, like higher in age. Money. Not money. Uh, even, I wouldn't say even, money. Even money. No, I think if if a person wanted to go away from the relationship, they would propose to give me money. Mm. I was not... I was a very staunch believer of I cannot take money so from I, a so man. So I should say, blessed am I for being <laughs> poor. <laughs> yeah, because I felt like that is that is how people manipulate you. When they give you, they they try to you. It's like you're always at their masses, and I didn't want to be in a position where I am at somebody's masses. Considering I would go into the relationship when I have set my principles clear and straight ahead. So your money, if you want to give me, you will give me, but don't expect anything in return. And it shouldn't feel like it is money that is leading me there. So by the time he came in, <clears throat> it was easy because this was high school love where you, 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 you I don't know how you call this... Um, KDF, yeah, where you mm. go buy KDF for breakfast. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You buy KDF <laughs> for breakfast, you divide it into two, you eat together, you like there is time for everyone to, you know, enjoy. You're st- you're in the same environment with the person that you love. So I feel like it was the best time. The I felt loved than I had never been. School dating was okay, oh. it was fun because one we didn't face the disciplinary committee, partially because I think I was a student leader and most of the teachers were my friends. In and short, we were deep state. <laughs> so I remember there was an instance where we were found in class when I was standing in between his legs and we were talking, just basically talking. We weren't talking, actually. I was cutting his nails in class. That is how love Davi, love it Davi. I can't remember the story. Remember the king. It was very easy now to make it open because we didn't want to be in a place where we we are hiding in the corners or what. No, we just wanted it to be open and we had given ourselves ultimatums of what we can do and what we can't do in that relationship. So it was easy for us to date freely in high school. Yeah. The day she accepts, we, we start the relationship. 
and I don't know, was it after a week? Yeah. Or after the, two the days? Sun, the Sunday next. So yeah. after a week? Yeah. So after a week when we are meeting, uh, she's coming with bombshells, one after another. Mm. Um, so the first thing she tells me, um, so now that you, you said you want us to be in a relationship, what's your, what's your plan with this thing? <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> plan then. <laughs> um, I don't if um, I don't know if other people like me, but for me I was living life there mm. and then in the moment. Yeah, I was genuine with my love, but I was not. I was not in the mental space to start thinking about marriage, if if you get what I mean. But now, she she asked me, uh huh. So what 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 are we doing here? What's the plan with this thing? Because if uh, this may not lead into marriage for me. Uh, not. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I disappeared for two weeks. <laughs> I remember we were in the same class, same stream. So, So, for me, um, this issue of marriage didn't come very well. I was baptized by fire, <laughs> uh, thunder, and everything. <laughs> That comes alongside it. Yeah, I think I just wanted to be sure that I am am in, am in and not going out. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't believe in having very many boyfriends so that I, I have, you know, a safe space in case one fails. No, I believed in having a relationship at a time. So I just wanted to be sure that if this is the last chance I'm giving to love. This is the person that we are going to work together with and they are of the same mind with me. So it was very easy for me to ask him whether he was ready to marry me. And I think I wanted him to also know that um, I wanted him to make a very informed decision. I had a back problem then. So he that, knew, that was the second bombshell now. Yeah, he knew that I was always a little off, uh, sickly in school. My back was very, very prob problematic for Prop, that time. Oh, bra, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so I, he didn't know to how, to what extent this was, but I had been told during that time when we had gone off for vacation from, from four, that um, you, it's easier for you to focus with this condition of yours. It's easier for you to focus on your books. Uh, if you're to get into marriage you wouldn't nobody would want you to get into a marriage with this kind of condition because we were talking about how intimacy will be very hard how pregnancy will be very hard how everything literally is not going to work for me and that is how i told him then in form five and yeah it it didn't go so well but he told me children are gifts from god if God wants us to have children, we will have them. But this was a, after a lot of soul searching. Hmm. A lot of soul searching because you can imagine, this is my first relationship. Um, in one week time, just after, after she says yes, I'm asking, what's your plan? Eh? What's, your, what's, your, what's your game plan? Are you planning to, eh? you know? Then immediately after, that week was, you know, you are meditating. Am I really, do I want to sign up for this thing? Yeah. So after that, then a week later, now I'm being told, hey, you know, I have a back problem and I may never be able to give children. You still want to continue. <laughs> so when I say it was baptism by fire, you can imagine. I was just a teenager. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when we, when we get, I think when we get to campus, he comes to, to Uganda for one year. One year, one semester, right? Yeah, one semester. We'd say one semester, and then he he, he comes back this side. Um, I stay in Uganda, so this whole time we are doing long distance relationship, where you just have to call and find out from each other, and life continued on very well. I've never used this mess like that time. Yeah, we used to talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was it was beautiful. There was a shaky moment where I think um, 
I felt like I wouldn't I wouldn't do long distance do, long distance relationship for that long. After that things fell into place. We we I used to make trips to come to Kenya as well to see it, to say hi once in a while. And um during one of the trips he says he wants to take me to the parents. I think the very first It was a very, the very first, first time visit, you came to yeah. Kenya, yeah. I, I met to Kenya, he tells me I want to take you to my parents. So it was very, very, it was a tenseful moment for me. Yeah, but uh, we go to the parents, the parents were very excited. They welcomed me and told them this is the girl. I could see them telling, now you see that time I didn't even know any Swahili. So they, they would bring guests from around the neighborhood and they, Amaleta kitu kizuri. That, that's the first time I saw my dad genuinely <laughs> smiling. You know, we could be here talking for a moment, then I see either my mom or dad has gone out. When they come back, they've, they've come back come with, with a, friend. a friend. Oh, this is... This is so, you, as in, it was like a formal introduction of a wife into the home. I'm like, okay, I didn't expect this, but it was a very... It was a, I think it, it was a sensation that I will be welcome in the home when we are ready to have our functions start rolling and i think that was the time i felt more secure mm. yes i felt more secure because i had I, I had i didn't know what to expect from the in-laws yeah i didn't know what to expect from the in-laws but they were very welcoming he had talked to the mother about about me yeah, just just before you you came, yeah. <clears throat> I told my mom um, there's this girl that I've been dating, and I want to introduce her to you. Um, she will be coming. She will be passing over, going to Nairobi, but she will she will come by. Which was a lie. <laughs> yeah, you leave alone the lie. The lie was where you were going, but you know, the idea was they get to meet coming. you. You are coming. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, so I tell my mom, this this girl I love and she's going to be coming. Um, there is one thing I would like to tell you about her. Um, so I talk about the back problem and the fact that um, she may not be able to, you know, bear children. I wanted this to be very clear from the very beginning because I've heard of stories um either because of the education of the wife to be or health issues or whatnot you find now there's collision because there are different expectations from the mother-in-law to be so i wanted it to be very clear with uh, my mom most especially because dad so long as the mother is in the box the dad is just there so i wanted it to be clear this is the girl i love this is how she is and me i like her that way. Mm-hmm. So, ni either una ni support. Ama kama una support ujue hii gari ime imeshatoka, hairudi nyuma. So, we sent I I sent her to talk to the parents. The first time they told her, we'll give you an answer and for her she was just okay with that. One year later there's no answer coming. <laughs> So just about the time she was almost graduating, so I, I call my friends, two of my confidants. Um, they, they now give her proper kamkunji. <laughs> and you know, after the proper kamkunji, I think now she saw it being serious. And this time we want an answer. You have to come back with an answer. Yeah. And this time it was about when, when, when we can come? we come. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I I met I, I think I met my parents in August and then um, they were supposed to come they they were given a date to come in December. So in, in December that's when I I think I finished my exams on the sixth of December and went home and then on the twenty third of December that's when they came the very first time to my home. Now in, in, in my culture where I come from, we do like three functions mm. before the wedding. Mm. <laughs> so he had to come for the first function. And then I think we combined the, the second and third. 
yeah so he came in oh, in december he came for the very first function where now they do not the during negotiations and they get to know where i am from and he makes his intentions clear to my parents and then now on on the 21st of april the following year that's 2019 he came for the second and third two in one function where it was it was more of a, a giveaway traditional wedding. yeah a traditional wedding and we did that um it was not easy because i think the amount of of um I've never been pressured in my life like that of time. money that was ah, yeah, demanded yeah, 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 too yeah. much. So by the time it was getting to when we're supposed to come for the traditional yeah, wedding yeah. Um, in April, we we had done a huge chunk of what was requested, and it was agreed now. So say in Guinea, Maliza, Badai. I think uh, planning really was hectic, especially because um, most of the money I think we had used in my home for the traditional wedding. So, uh, and, and because in our culture, the woman literally is provided for, so there's no way they would come and support on this other side as well. And um, my husband had made a suggestion that we do our wedding the so, same time we are doing the traditional wedding. I was like, no, there is no way my people... I mean, that thing was literally a wedding, <laughs> just that there was no white gown. <laughs> so why, why can't we just have a pastor, you know, after that is done, oh, you're now husband and wife. <laughs> you know, and we, we are good to go. There is no way I was going to allow that to happen because I wanted my parents also to come this side and experience whatever that they made these people experience as well so i i had to push for that to happen and we did the wedding here in nakuru in the in the church the planning was quite quite straining because after the after the traditional wedding in uganda i came with him yeah because when they give you away they literally give you away they, oh, lock, they lock your room they everything is you go with everything, never to come back. There is no room for divorce. Na when, you, when you've yeah, when you've decided to go, they give you everything that you need to make that home a home. You never think of going back home. So I came with him, but now we had to wait for the the the, the white wedding or the church wedding, uh, which was to be in a month's time. So during that month, I was staying with uh, the aunt. A lovely a lovely aunt of, of his and um, we had to do the the wedding pl meetings and plannings during this this month for us to have the wedding and it was crazy it was crazy because we had to there's even a time to leave Kas yeah. to Kosana. you know uh, the, the pressure is too much kwa the committee the committee asking so how much have you money? gotten so far so how many have you talked to? Uh, da, 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 da. It, it, it was, it was draining. given another opportunity, uh, I wish I would have married when I have money. I think the worst thing is to ask asking for money. For money. Yeah. That, that, that for me was my, was my lowest point. Yeah. But we had a very, very, very wonderful, committee. wonderful committee that uh, you know those people. You say that they feel where it's hurting on your in your foot in your in your, in your foot, shoes or yeah. whatever. Yeah, I think I would say um, having that committee really really helped because they made do 
with uh, what we had. Yeah, whatever we got is what we used and it was planned for and managed because our wedding our wedding I would say I would rate it as one of the best weddings that I had seen. We thank God that it went well. There was a lot of drama because the, the ladies dresses were coming from Uganda and their shoes and the tailor messed us up. So by the time it was coming to the wedding the dresses arrived literally short story it arri they the, arrived the night the night to the wedding yeah at around eight that is when they they arrived and we we had to make do with what was there i remember us going to the tailor at around 11 that is when we were getting done you're the bride running around with the the bridesmaids it was crazy but the day I told myself I'm going to enjoy it. Come rain, come sunshine. Because <laughs> it's my day. And for whatever reason, we have to enjoy it. Yeah. And it it was beautiful. It was beautiful. For yeah. me the, the, the wedding day was like um a dream. A a dream or let me say a movie where I was just a prop. <laughs> I I only believe that I'm married actually after Everything was done, done and, and now it's time to go home because I think there was, there was too much activity for my, 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 my brain to comprehend. Oh, uh, can you wave? Can you uh, now say uh, hi, stand, oh, take photo? It, it was, it was, it was too just much. too much. Yeah. And you know, the previous night, um, the previous night after sorting, now making sure that the wedding dresses are here, uh, so I've left everyone and I've remember I've just remembered I have not shaved. Yeah. So I've left everyone and I went normally when I go to shave I don't tell anyone. I mean. So I didn't see okay it it didn't occur to me that I'm supposed to say I'm going somewhere. So I went. So I went to the nearest place uh, we were at church so I went to the nearest uh, barber shop I knew around church. It was closed. So I started walking, walking, walking. So I found myself about uh, one kilometer away. That's where I found a good barber, a good barber that time. So, and my phone has, was on 1% and it went off. So when my phone went off, I think people looked for me. I, it's only later after we met with those people that I got to hear, oh, we thought you were scared of the wedding and you disappeared with eh uki jana ni kama ameogopa hii maneno ya ndoa ametoka yeah i think for me i didn't come with any expectation the biggest probably expectation i had was now hii time ya kupimiwa pimiwa ni kama tunaiba don't you come to visit and tomorrow you have to go back or you have to make a call in the toilet because you don't want your parents to know that you are here. You know, it was I, done. for me, I just knew now this is it. Mm -hmm. We are going to have all the time to ourselves uh, because this is a person I had known for a long time because yeah, we a person I've seen before. from 209 and we're getting married in 2019 as much as we were young then. I mean, there was not so much change that I was expecting was going to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's the same with, we had known each other to the extent that um, we just had to let our fears unfold before us. Yeah. I, I, I personally had phobia for intimacy and um, because we had been in the waiting period for quite a, a long time, it was the only biggest fear that I had. Talk and, about it. And, and that's, that's, that's when it hits me that now, okay, this is what married people do, and basically this is an obligation in marriage. And, yeah, basically where, where, that was... Where will you <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Please tell me why we are here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah. It, it, was, it was very hard for me to, to finally break the ice and accept. In our... In our honeymoon, um, number one, because of our of our low budget, a friend of ours actually gracefully offered his house mm. 
because one we didn't want to you know get into debt but we also wanted time away from, from everyone else yeah. a place where we we are safe we are safe other. and we're just us mm. so we, uh, the friend offered a space where we were for were we there for two or three weeks two weeks so we were there for two weeks and for the first one week, seven days my friends I was on fasting. I was kept on fasting. She came with uh, movies, series, one after another, one after another. Um, yeah, but it was, it was, it was a good. It was uh, worth the wait. Yeah, it was worth the wait. Yes. be hard to really point out one moment and say this was my best memory for me each day has been worthwhile because uh, i have found everything i would have ever wanted in a woman Aww. yeah <laughs> how sweet uh, i think um i would resonate the same but there is one moment that is really outstanding the time that we realized we were pregnant for our very first born so in our mind, we had told ourselves we want to take three years of honeymooning. To Jibambe. <laughs> to wish she life. Yeah. To wish she life. <laughs> Seven months down the, lo down, the, eh, down the line. On 9th of January 2020, I test pregnant. I'm like, okay. It was a moment of mixed reactions for me. Because now I was worried about what the journey is going to be like. But he was excited. He was very excited. He was like, God answers prayers. This is, this is beautiful, you know. And uh, seeing him in that port, like fast forward, the pregnancy was very smooth. I did not have any back issues during the pregnancy. The pain she normally the pain used to I feel usually, wasn't I there. usually had was not there during at pregnancy all. at all. And when the baby came, the baby because I delivered in hospital, but without help of the nurses and midwives. Walilala. Walidala, walienda kulala. So like there is a statement God was trying to make to us that man can say anything, but I have the final say, and he actually did it. Because he came at a very critical time. He, he was supposed to come in September, in October, mm. October 16th. Mm. That was our estimated date of delivery. And then he came on 14th of August. So that's like two months earlier. And it was without, without any attention of anybody. I delivered that young boy. Of course, it was a difficult delivery because I didn't have any help. But God was making, God made it a, a moment of reflection and telling us to totally depend on him. Because the time he came, it was curfew times. Corona. Corona times. And it was crazy was very crazy he was not allowed to be in hospital with me so it was literally me and god and that baby at that <laughs> <time>. <laughs> yeah so and i think the, the best moment now that i was coming to is when i saw him hold our son mm. and 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 i think that uh, our son held his hand i think we have a photo of him holding his hand and it was so blissful, like you could see true pure love. To you, my lovely husband, there is nothing that um, has been beautiful, like having you in my life. Uh, you found me at a spot where I felt like love was not going to work for me. But God has molded you and shaped you to be that man that I deserved. That man that cares, that man that loves, that man that understands, and your selflessness. 
always makes me love you more. The past five years, and even the years before our marriage, have been the most transformative years of my life. I've learned a lot um, through you. I have gotten to know that I can be a better person through the experiences we've had together. Your honesty, your selflessness, and I can't see any better thing than doing life with you. It's been a blessing to see you as a mother, and I think you're the best mother in the whole world. You're the best dad in the whole world too. Yeah. Glad to have you. And this, this is, is our, our love story. story.